Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to use the clutch on a motorcycle. Now, I'm sure a lot of you might not have grown up with the convenience of, of driving a manual transmission car. That's how I first learned how to use a clutch. I learned how to do it in a car first, and uh, those fundamentals, that fundamental transfers, o transfers over really well to a motorcycle. But we're going to go over it, so in case you haven't driven a manual transmission equipped car, you'll be able to use a clutch on a motorcycle. Now it's important to note before we hop on a motorcycle, we want to make sure we're wearing all the proper gear, uh, footwear, pants, jacket, gloves, and a helmet. Uh, it's very important to wear this gear because it not only makes riding safer, but it makes it more comfortable too. So now that we're outfitted with the proper stuff from Revit and Shoei, let's learn how to work the clutch. Well, first off, the clutch is a mechanism that augments the power of the engine and the transmission. It allows basically the engine and the transmission to talk. So it's controlled by this left hand side lever right here, right here on the left that you're seeing here. When we let it out, it allows the engine to engage power to the transmission and we pull it in, it disengages power momentarily. Now, in most automatic transmission vehicles, the, the torque converter and the automatic transmission takes care of all this for you, so you don't have to shift gears. But shifting gears really opens up a lot of opportunities. It allows you to, to uh, have more vehicle control, and it also allows for just a more fun experience in my opinion. So first off, we're here at a stop sign. Uh, we have the clutch pulled in. The clutch pulled in means that, the, that there's no power going from the engine to the transmission. Uh, when, we want, when we want to take off here, all we have to do is simply let out the clutch and let the engine torque take it away. Now, today we're riding a really small displacement motorcycle like this GSX, GSX 250R uh, it's a 250cc parallel twin, so it doesn't have a whole lot of torque. So in order to get the bike to, to, to actually pull ahead, we need to give it a little bit of throttle. But if you're riding a, uh, a motorcycle with a higher capacity engine with more torque, you can quite, quite easily let off the clutch slowly and let the, let the engine's torque off idle just carry you away. So basically right now, we're just going to let out the clutch kind of feel the engagement point. Uh, that's what you really want to do with these things. You want to be able to feel the engagement point. Uh, the clutch is like your safe zone. So when the clutch lever is depressed and pulled in, you're not going to have any problems. The motorcycle is going to be at a standstill. It's not going to go anywhere. But as soon as you creep that thing out a little bit, it's going to want to start taking off. And whenever it's too much, you just pull it in and it'll stop again. So now that we're clear, let's 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 let the clutch out and give it a little bit of gas. A little bit of gas. Feel the engagement point, and here we go. Now, eventually, once we get going, we're going to want to totally release that clutch and let the, let the engine power take it away. Uh, the next step in this, in this equation would be shifting gears. Now, uh, quite often, I don't use the clutch to shift to shift the gears, but for this demonstration we're going to use the clutch. So if we want to shift gears, we're just going to pull in the clutch, grab the shift lever, now we're in the next gear. We're in second, third gear now. Uh, this GSX-S250R is really handy because it's got a gear position indicator right here in the dash, which really makes it easy to know what gear we're riding in. Uh, again, let's upshift into fourth gear. Clutch in, gear shifter up, fourth gear, here we go. And we're off and away. Uh, the great thing about riding these a small displacement bike like the Suzuki is it, it really makes learning how to ride and learning how to use the clutch uh, very easy. Uh, there's a lot of other great bikes out there from all the other manufacturers that have a little bit higher engine capacity, but higher engine capacity typically equates to a little bit more uh, apprehension when learning. So 
I really recommend starting on the smallest bike you can you can possibly find and just upgrading from there. And we came to a stop, we pull in the clutch in, uh, disengage the, the engine power from the transmission. Now right now we're in third gear because we didn't downshift into first gear. You want to make sure that you're launching in first gear on these small bikes. So let's uh, give it a little bit of gas to help the transmission shift. And now we're in first gear. I slowly de release the clutch while giving it a little bit of throttle here with my right hand. And here we go. Clutch in. Upshift second, clutch out. Clutch in, upshift third, clutch out. And we're going to take a left up here. Now right there what I did is I gave it a little bit of gas. When you give it a little bit of gas with the throttle before you downshift, it helps free up the transmission and helps it change gears a little bit easier. You don't have to do that, it's a matter of personal preference, but I just like the way the, the transmission moves when you, when you unload it a little bit with the throttle beforehand. Alright, we're in first gear, clutch is fully depressed, let's give it a little gas and let's go. Clutch is out, clutch in, second gear, clutch out. Clutch in, third gear, clutch out. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. The, the biggest thing, uh, like I said before, when you're learning how to use these clutches, using, when you're learning how to use the clutches, you gotta know the engagement point. Engagement point's critical. And you simply do that by just letting it out, feeling when it goes. Letting it out, feeling when it goes. It's actually really easy on a small bike like this. Clutch in, second gear. Clutch in third gear. Basically you want to choose a gear for the vehicle speed you're traveling. So right now we're at 22 miles per hour in third gear pushing 4,000 RPM. So the engine's in its happy place, it's not revving too high, it's not revving too low, and it's delivering a real smooth experience. If we up the speed to 30 miles per hour, we'd likely want to shift into fourth gear. And the 50 miles per hour, fifth gear and so on and so forth. Uh, transmission ratios and, and gearing are going to be different uh, depending on the type of motorcycle you're riding. But the concepts all remain the same. I'm going to take it right here at the stop sign. Just downshift in the second. Downshift in the first. Clutch in. Look both ways before we cross the street, and let's go. Feeling that engagement point, letting that clutch fully out, clutch is out. Now we're approaching a really steep downhill, so we can live in it, leave it in first gear. Let the engine braking uh, slow us down, that way we don't need to use any of the, the hydraulic brakes. We'll just let the engine carry our speed. And that, my friends, is how to use a manual cable actuated clutch on a motorcycle. If you have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment. I'll do the best to answer them. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. We're going to be doing more of these how-to uh, style of videos. Uh, how to use the brakes, how to use a throttle, how to use uh, everything. And eventually we'll be doing an all-encompassing learn how to ride video. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you like what you're seeing or if you don't. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care and ride safe.